Hey, hey guys. Hello, hello. Hey, Monette. Hey, y'all. What's going on? I'm just going to wait a few minutes and wait for people to come in. I hope you can hear me good. Hey, Mariah. What's going on? <sighs> what's going on? Hey, Aunt De Niro. Wave to y'all. Let me just wave to y'all. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <sighs> just gonna wait a few minutes. Hey, Big O, 7593. What's going on? Hey, Tamika, girl. <laughs> Gonna wait a few more minutes before we get started. I think I may be... Oh, it's 8 o'clock on the dot. But we're gonna give people time to, like, come in. Maybe somebody's running into another room where it's quiet. Running into the stairwell because they at work or out in the lobby. So we're going to give them a few, t a few minutes to get situated. I know how it is. Hey, my joy. What's going on, girl? Hey. Hey, hey. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to go over some questions. Like last week, we're going to have some fun. And I'm just going to go over some things that I got inboxed and this stuff. I got a few things that I want to announce to, for, to those that don't know already. Okay. For those of you that don't know me, if this is your first time, my name is Mo. My name is actually Monique, but you can call me Mo. I am the Forex chick. And I'm here to just help people iron out the wrinkles of them learning um, Forex and on this journey. And I know that a lot of times it's very complex and complicated for you to learn, especially when you're just jumping in and getting your feet wet. But I want to assure you it's not that difficult. Hey, JVPTY, how you doing? It's not that difficult, you know, if you just apply yourself and you just keep at it, you will do just fine. You will you will you will get there. I promise you you will get there. As long as you put the work in, you will get there. Okay? So, one of the questions that I had um sent to me was, "How long should I stay with my forex mentor?" Um, apparently this person had been with their Forex mentor, um, they, they didn't name the name or anything, um, for like a year and they didn't feel like they was getting anywhere or they felt like they didn't learn, they weren't learning as much as they felt they should be learning. So a question like that is all up to you. Uh, a few things could be happening that may not be the mentor for you. Maybe you two don't gel. Well, you know, maybe their their teaching style is different from your learning style. You know, um, it could be a lot of things, but you have to make that last decision of, you know, if it's working for you or not. If you don't feel that you're getting anything out of it and it's been a year already, that mentor may not be the person for you. You know, and it kind of sucks. I, I really suggest no one wait that long because... It's almost like time wasted and you could be done, moved on to someone else or just pick up where you left off and just fill in the blanks yourself. So really zone in on, you know, if this person or even before you even get with them, if, is this person really someone that I want to invest with and invest my time with, you know, just like. You know, you're paying your money. They should be investing their time into you, into you to make sure you, you, you have what you need and all the tools are being met. Hey, Superman, you're crazy. So, um, that's important. That's really important. Um, just like before you even join with them, ask them questions. 
just like you know they 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 expect your payment you should interview them you know just like for a job look do you do this do you do that you know how you do this if they start dancing around questions that you're asking and they don't give you a direct answer then that may that may be a red flag for you that this may not be the person for you you know so just keep that in mind Okay, another question that I have is, and if you guys have any questions or you have anything to say, please just, just throw it up there and I'll, I'll scroll and get to it or whatever. Another question that I have is, how often should I withdraw from my Forex account? It all depends on you. It all depends on your profits. It all depends on what your goal is, what it is that you're trying to do. I, for example... If okay, let's say you you deposited a thousand dollars into your forex account. Hey Mario, let's say you you um you deposited a thousand dollars into your forex account, right? And let's say you profited two thousand dollars. So now you have three thousand dollars in your broker account, right? Well, you don't want to take all of the money out because you know now that you have three thousand dollars you can trade a lot heavier than you were currently at a thousand dollars so you're like well you know i want to reap some of my reward i want to i want to re reap the fruits of my labor then take out maybe like 500 or maybe a thousand eight hundred or something like that, so that now you don't have to trade at a thousand dollar budget. You can trade at a two thousand dollar budget, and then keep building off of that. You can, of course, you can pay yourself an allowance or a, a profit or something, but you don't want to keep depleting every time you make a profit. Don't put in a thousand, then you then you know you profit two thousand. Now you have three thousand, and then you go and you take out twenty. You know. 2500 or something don't do that that's like going backwards okay so it's all up to you you just determine what your goal is and what allowance that you want to set for yourself because remember the more that you build on your account and your capital the more heavier you'll be able to trade you know you instead of doing at like a thousand dollar account size you can you can trade maybe your lot size can be 0 0.25 we, we call them 25 cent lot sizes but it's 0 0.25 lot size you can do that um you can do even a 50 cent 0 0.50 um lot size you know but don't open up too many though you have to have a balance of how many to open up because you don't want things to go sideways and then you know your account is 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 blown within a matter of seconds so you got to know how to balance your lot sizes and make a nice juicy know that you're going to make a nice juicy profit and but you're safe too so if things start pulling back you're okay you have enough room to wiggle room to move around in you know what i'm saying so we have that question okay um I, another question i have is how do i spot a, a fraud or a scammer this is a very good question because you have a lot of people who are great um great actors, okay? They will make it as though they hey as we think we did. What's going on? Hey God's kid. Um thank you for jumping on. Um you have a lot of those that I mean, they pretend very well. They are like they will make it seem like they are walking on water, honey. They are, you know, right, right, Amor. So day traders have wiggle room. Everybody needs a little wiggle room, you know. So if things start going sideways, you have enough to work with or whatever. But as I was saying, um, scammers, they, they come in all shapes and sizes. They come in female, males. You know, if you have someone... A red flag to me is if you if you go on someone's page, let's we'll say on Instagram, and they have fifty thousand followers, okay, they have fifty thousand followers, and on their post they get an average of like a hundred likes or 
200 likes and like one or two comments, that is probably a red flag that something fishy is going on because I don't have that many followers. Having a lot of followers is not is not that is not important to me. I value quant quality over quantity. And from what I can see, I have very high quality people on that follow me and I interact with. And my my posts and my comments are usually they're 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 pretty pretty active. You know, people talk to each other. I talk, I chime in, I interact with you guys, and you want someone that is going to interact. If there's no interaction, that is that's a red flag right there. That would be like the first thing, you know. A lot of them are going towards Telegram and saying, Oh, come to Telegram and you know, Ahmad, he said the worst in all of and all this is the people who use screenshots of other people. You know, I mean, I, I've I've heard of people doing that. I have heard of people doing that. And and it made me want to start watermarking my posts, you know. But I forget and I have to remember to get back on it. You know what I'm saying? But you you that is a very very good point you made thank you so much for saying that um that yeah they they use screenshots and stuff a lot of people will watermark their things and put their name on it or whatever but you know that's that's another thing you know that no interaction under those posts is a big red flag because people talk you know and if it so it makes me think that those pe those followers that is up there and that, that was bought those were because you can't buy followers in case y'all didn't know you can buy it. You can go on Fiverr.com and buy and buy um and buy followers. I swear to you. <laughs> um, Amor says the comments look look nice, like nice posts and like the composition of the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, you're right. Like the comments, if you do see them, they'll say something crazy like that. You know, amazing content, and it, it'll be like really spamish type comments on there. You're right. I get those under my posts sometimes, but I go in and I delete them if I can find them because I don't want that on on my um, on my posts at all. You know. So yeah, when you, to spot a, just pay attention. Just please pay attention, um, and just look for things like that. If you talk to them, if they're really pushy about oh you signing up or you know less this that's not where you want to go you know you that's not what that's not where you want to go because anybody that is that thirsty for you to sign up with them it's it makes you feel a little it, it would make me feel a little sideways about them you know what i mean and you know you guys work hard for your money you know you go to work every day to earn your dollars and stuff and you don't have time to be tossing it out to people that are just going to send you pipe dreams you know what i'm saying so be very mindful of that if you come across somebody or something and it looks sketchy to you you're like you know check check this out you know have you heard of this person before send me a screenshot because i'm pretty good at digging and looking and finding people and talk. So send me a screenshot or inbox me or whatever, and I'll go look at it for you. And I'll, and I'll give you an honest opinion. Like, oh, I don't know. This looks a little sketchy. I wouldn't go with it, you know, or whatever. So God's Kid says, I might need to watermark my photos too, but as a real trader, that's the last thing I'm thinking about. Exactly. That's why I always forget to do it, God's Kid. I always forget to do it. Like, I, I've done it a couple times, if you've noticed in my my videos, because I post my, um, my trades and my profits live. I post my stuff live, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and, um, it's 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 hard. You do forget. You're you know what I'm saying. You you be into your own zone and you do forget. So I to, I'm totally with you there. And you said, and these IML traders sending messages. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I want to get started on that so bad, but I don't know. Yeah, man, those. Yeah. IML, you know, you know what the problem is with IML. IML is not horrible. It's not. 
is not horrible. Their platform is not bad. I think it's they have a when I was there, because I was there, <laughs> see, look, see, Kevin, you ain't no good. When I was there, I was there very shortly, as I stated in my last live. I was there very briefly. I like their platform of, of, of learning. You know, you can go in and learn the basics, and they got like a little academy or something like that. They have things like the harmonic scanner, and um, they have something called uh, swipe trades. What, which were horrible, by the way. I, I, I couldn't stand it. Um, they do have the web analyzer. They have stuff like that to help you get in. And, you know, and they have their own little, you know, strategies and stuff going on. I guess depending on what group you're in. But, you know, it's it, it just wasn't for me. And I've, I've, you know, a lot of people ended up not being very happy over there for whatever reason. So, yeah, I'm um, as very pushy. They are more on getting people to do. Yes, they are. They they're very. They they hurt people like cattle. They really do. They hurt people like cattle to join and stuff. That's that's really, that's to me. That's all they really care about. You know. Yes, absolutely. They they they're more concerned about people joining than teacher forex. I agree. And then the people teaching don't know nothing about forex. That's the funny part. Um, I said that's the reason why he decided to work alone. He or she decided to work alone. I'm sorry, Maude. I can't tell whether you're a male or female, but I'm sorry. Um, I decided to work alone. It took time, but today I'm eating the fruit of my effort. Good for you. That is fantastic. You know, sometimes it's not bad to be alone, you know, because, you know, you have control of everything. That's wonderful. Our mail is two and four. Yes, they are definitely in, it, very engulfed in marketing. Absolutely. Yep. I told, I, yeah, it's, but yeah, I, tr I agree. Keeping up with Jesse, join. Hey. Oh, you was with IML as well? Keeping up with Jesse, Bill left IML and notice everyone dropping like flat. Yeah, yep, I know. I, you know, if you go on YouTube, you can you can see people um, talking about their experiences on there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, they're making the videos now, talking about why they left and is it is you know a scam? And I wouldn't so much as call it a scam. It's just not set up you know, the way that you, that they lead you to believe that it is, you know what I'm saying? So, but the sad thing is you do have people there that take it really serious. Like they're great leaders, you know? Yeah. Um, Mariah said, I want to pick your brain on trading bots. Um, I don't know anything about trading bots. Honestly, I don't. I don't know anything about those. You might could teach me something new. I don't know anything about trading bot bots. My everything I learned is long handed, so I don't know anything about trading bots. So when they when they send you messages, God kid, God's kid, what do they say in in the messages? Like, what is it that they want you to join or they want you to teach? I mean, what is it that they're saying? I'm curious to know because I haven't received a message from them in a very very long time and I, I not deleted the ones that I did have yeah oh gosh yes keeping up with Jess talk about the products yes it's like a new one comes out like every week yeah I don't know anything about bots I'm so sorry okay okay what else we got here guys okay Okay, how to how to determine the type of trader you are. Usually, people start off as scalpers. Usually, okay. I did. I know I did. You know, um, it's easier. It's easier to get your feet wet in it. But over time, it, you it makes you feel like you're chasing the market. You know. 
um, Superman, um, Kevin, it might be, yeah, it might be like one of those signal apps. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see God's kid. Yeah. Um, keeping up with Jesse says, what times do you trade? I trade the daily. I trade the daily. Amor said, who all lives in Florida and want to meet up? I'm in Florida. Huh? I'm in Tampa. I'm in Tampa. I'm in Tampa. Oh, so how to determine what... See, see how easy it is to get sidetracked? So how to determine what trader you are. Um, you, usually you start off with scalping. Unless someone grooms you into swing trading right off the bat scalping is like from the one minute to the 15 minute time frame you know you're scalping off of that through the market some people like it some people don't i did start off scalping it was okay at first and now i prefer to day to swing trade works for me you know it's kind of like you set it and forget it and going about your business and let the market do its thing you know for me what i've observed is that um when you swing trade your trades will be for me my trades have been in profit for days 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 you know so i, I like that i like you know because i i forget things i do a lot you know i interact with a lot of people and i get sidetracked and then you know if you're scalping and you're just doing one five to 15 minute time frame and then you know you get caught up get a phone call you know go run to the grocery store you know that takes over 15 minutes and next thing you know you your account done went sideways so with swing training it gives you more buffer room to me it, it gives it gives the it gives the um it gives you room more work room to do what you need to do and not have to worry about sitting in front of the chart all day eyeballing it to make sure nothing goes crazy or anything like that so i like swing trading so you just have to get a feel for it and once you get like a nice strategy that you like and that works for you because I want you guys to understand there's not no one way to trade. That's the beautiful thing about Forex. There's just not no one way to do it. Something, the way that I look at something, God's kid may look at it totally different. It's just so many opportunity to learn in it. So, um, you just have to find what works for you. Yes, um, Spella Jr., I, I totally agree with you. Like a thousand percent. The best time frame is the daily. Hands down. I if you want to argue, we can argue about it. <laughs> the daily is like the bomb.com. I, I tell you. And I, I say that because I traded the hour today, the hour to four hour, one of those. It was it was horrible. It was horrible. It was horrible. So it, it, it definitely didn't give me the fruit that I'm used to when I'm on the daily. And I, I, the daily is the bomb. So just to let y'all know. <laughs> and then sometimes too, I work myself from the daily and work myself all the way back and go look at the time frames backwards. I go backwards just to see, you know what I'm saying? It, it, that's just what I do. You don't have to do it, but that's just what I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Speller, Speller Jr., you 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 did you said that. It, that is very true. Um Amor wants to meet up. Anybody in Florida, she wants to meet up, which sounds really awesome. Amir say he thinks he's the only French person here. That's okay. We welcome all. Hello. Are you um in France or London? Ahmed. Hey Tay Rudolph, how you doing? Let me say hello. Okay, Amor says, what minimum balance do you keep to be able to, to daily trade? Um, I don't think it I really don't think it matters. Um 
I, I, you know, I, you know, I never thought about it like that. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it matters. You know, you know, oh, a miss says a hundred dollars. So, you know. All right. God's kid said, everyone start scalping thinking we will be millionaires in one day. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, though? <laughs> well, you know why we think like that? God's kid is because that's how they present it to us. You know, we think that we're going to be millionaires in like a year or something like that, or like in six months. And it just doesn't happen like that. And I and that was one of the things that pissed me off about, you know, oh, thank you for the hearts, guys. Oh, I got hearts. I really appreciate it. That's one of the things that ticked me off. Um, about some of these uh, forex educators or whatever, you know, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. So you know, people a lot of times these uh, these forex educators or whatever, or scammers or frauders or something, and I won't say that all of them are like that. They go and they do the photo shoes with the Lamborghinis and the Ferraris and the Maybachs and the, and the, and the Bentleys and they getting out of helicopters and Louis bags full of money. And that is not what Forex is about. That getting into Forex is not going to bring you all of that overnight. And I hate to see them advertise it like that because that's just not how it works. It's not. Unless you go to the bank or you got a hundred thousand dollars sitting on you, sitting on hand, and you know how and you absolutely know what you're doing or something, you probably can make some big bank. But it takes time to get there. And it's possible for everybody. But it takes time to get there. That is something you definitely want to side eye. Okay. Yes, Amit, I definitely agree. Even $50 is okay if you are patient. And pay, that's what it's all about, patience. Having patience. Thank you so much, Amit, for saying that. Okay. Speller, Speller Jr. says, The scalping is not a good is not a good time frame if you have little kids. No. And I couldn't agree with you more. If you got little kids, <laughs> you definitely don't want to get into that. You definitely want to be swinging on something. You want to be swing trading for that. You want to swing trade, baby. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else we got here? Okay. A more um Kevin Kevin Superman one 1K wants to know what city you in, girl. I know you told me, but I forgot. So you'll be reminding me too. Oh, come to Paris for me though. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my gosh. I would love to go to Paris. Oh, I would love that. That would be so amazing, you know, for all of us to go to Paris and meet up and just to oh, that would be so amazing. Oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. And it would be amazing to meet you, Amit. Absolutely. Oh gosh, that would to be... I just had like a vision of like going there. But like, oh, I'm going to Paris. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, money management is important, yeah. Oh, okay, Amara lives in Palm Beach. Hey, Tangela, success. How you doing? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I think I'm caught up on all the comments. So, um, the another thing was, when should I look at my charts? I had to figure out when was a good time for me to look at my charts as well. Okay, um, I look at my charts after five, after the markets have closed, because I usually I stay on the London, New York. Um, time frames. Those are my time frames, okay? And I usually will look first thing in the morning when I get up, I'll look and see what's popping, okay? Then I look after five when most of the market is closed, you know, the, it's, it's very slow, I'll look and then I look again before I go to bed like 12 in the morning or something. Not because I expect anything to change, but just to go back and see if I missed anything that I didn't catch before.
Okay, God kids, God's kids says, make sure you any mentor you choose to work with can trade live in front of you. Absolutely. Oh, okay, Mitt. Awesome. Sounds good to me. Yeah, 5 p.m. That's me. Like, you know, I, I didn't get a chance yet, but I'll go and look at the charts in a little while. After 5 o'clock, it don't have to be 5 o'clock on the dot, but after 5, it's like it's like a good time to me. That's my opinion. Somebody might say different, like, oh, no, you're supposed to. No. And then, too, on Sundays... I, I go or over the weekend while the market is completely closed. It's a great time to go and scan the market and see what's going on. Um, my favorite pairs are um, Euro, GBP, um, the Mexican pesos, um, Euro, USD. Um, a couple of those good old GBP pairs, um, uh, GBP, USD. Um, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I usually bounce between those. I haven't I haven't traded um GB GBP in NZD yet. I haven't done that one, but yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Amor, Amor, and Superman 1K. Y'all are like an hour away from each other, so you guys will meet. Will can meet actually meet um, sooner um, than you probably will be able to. You know, all of us meet and stuff. I'm in Tampa. I'm like, I think what four hours away from you guys. Maybe three, four hours away, give or take, if you obey the speed limit. <laughs> Um, Mario Mixologist says, how many trade, how many trade pairs do you trade at a time? Um, that's a very good question. Uh, I would say two to three, two to three, but I may open up three each or five on one, two, three on the other. You know, like, let's, for example, let's say Euro GBP, I may open up five. And then on GBP USD, I may open up three, you know, and all be at like 50 cent lots or maybe 50 cent lots on Euro GBP and then 25 cent lots on um, um, GBP USD or something. Something like that. I do like two or three at a time. So what else we got? Um, and you're looking for good little setups, right? Exactly. Mm. Hey, extras! Thank you for joining. High highs and low lows, right? You will still drive the Tampa. Oh, cool! Yeah, that would be awesome. For those who are in Europe, Euro USD is not party. Euro USD moves really slow. It's like what three, four pips, you know, at a time. So it's it's really slow, and I think it's a good pair to start off on if you're a newbie, newbie, because you know you you have a lot of wiggle room. The bigger the spread, or the more pips that are in that pair, the the more pips you can gain or the more pips you can lose which means the more money you can gain or the more money you can lose you know like that you love exotic pairs of men ain't nothing wrong with that I'll trade honestly I'll trade anything if I can get it if I can find a good setup I'll honestly I'll trade but you know you have those ones that you just like and you favor because you do well in them and you get to know them. You get to know their trend. You get to know their movement. You you, you know, you, you just grow and you really get used to those pairs. So, you know, that's no, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, you know the opportunity is there if you ever want to expand and, and dabble in bigger spreads in another pair. You know, the pair that you're currently in, like in um maybe like 24 to 30 pips. 
you know, per pip. You know what I'm saying? That adds up quickly. Where there's another one that may be 100, 200 pips, and you may want to dive into that. You're ready to, you know, put a little bit more muscle into what you're doing, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and it's it's all about your pace and what, what works for you. So... What account size are you working with? I hope I'm not being too nosy. <laughs> My account size is a couple thousand. Okay. It's nothing over the top. Um, I don't, I cover that part up because I don't want people to focus on that. It's, it's, it's really not that because anybody, you can grow your account. It really doesn't matter what, which, which your account size is. You know, just know that the more you have in your account, the heavier you can trade. You know, instead of if you have a hundred dollars in your account, then you're going to be looking at, you know, 0 0.01 lots or 0 0.02 lots. You know what I mean? When you get up to 500, a thousand, you'll be able to go up to 25 cent lots, you know, whatever. There's a different rule to it according to different people, but you know, I never had a problem with it when I started. When I think 500, a thousand is good to get you going, but there's no need to even worry about that until you have your confidence on lock and you are secure in what you're doing. Because this is fast as you put that thousand in or whatever you have, you can blow it in a matter of minutes if you don't know what you're doing. Hey, oh, big girl, you just got back. Well, don't worry. Um, this this live here be up for 24 hours, and I have a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna tell you guys about that too. I'm gonna I have a YouTube channel. Um, and I hope you guys come and follow, follow me over there. It's Forex Chick, just like it sounds. F O R E X space Chick C H I C. And I will be uploading my lives to there as well for those that miss it because they're working or they're sleeping or they're busy at the time and they're not able to get on. So I thought to do that. You know, for you guys, so you can go in there, you can leave comments or whatever, and I'll see them and I'll get back to you and all of that good, great stuff, you know. And I'm going to do other things on there too. I got some things planned out for you guys. I love you guys so much. It's just a few of you, but you all mean a lot to me because you don't have to get on here with me, and you do. And I just think you're all like amazing. So, God's kiss this question I get all the time how much money do you need to get started? It just, you know, you know, God's kid, I've gotten that too. And honestly, it's whatever you can afford. You know, there's no, Forex is not a cookie cutter thing, guys. It's not. It's whatever you can afford. If you can afford 100 bucks, cool. If you can afford 50 bucks, cool. But some brokers do have um, minimums that you can only, only, you know, you could start with, you know, some have a hundred, some have 500. It just depends on your broker and what you can afford. So I suggest that you find what works for you that, that aligns up with that, you know, but it's whatever you can afford and you just work up from there. That's it. Don't put pressure on yourself guys to make it feel like, Oh man, I got to get a thousand dollars. So, so I can start making money. No, if you only have a hundred dollars that's cool you trade on that okay then next time you get a little extra money you throw it on in there now you got a hundred and fifty dollars next time you 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 get a little extra money another hundred bucks now you got two hundred and fifty dollars to trade on and you just keep building you know you just keep building on it just just because you you deposit money into your broker account one time that's it that's all you have to work with you just keep building on it that's all. Now you touched on spread. So if the spread is high, then what does that mean? If the spread is high, that means you have more to lose or more to gain. That's the spread between, you know, between your, that's how much potential is in those pips. You know, um, it could be a beautiful thing or it could be a nightmare. It just all depends, <laughs> you know. So, and and usually the more volatile spreads, they they have more, 
more um more juice in them, more meat, you know. GBP pears have a good good spreads in them. They're 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 nice. They're 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 more intermediate um up levels, you know. Something maybe a newbie may not want to get started on cuz cuz they move, they really move, you know. So just depends. Okay. A man says, if you are with one good broker, the spreads is not a lot. Hmm. Yeah. I guess. Um. We are not a lot. I want to. I want us to create a crew to share things together. That's awesome. I. I, I have no problem with that. Amid that sounds great. Forge seven gent joined. Hey, how you doing? Carmel Ketchup, she joined. Hey, how you doing? Let me say hi. Trade with KJ, how are you? Thank you for joining. Well, you don't you trade with low spreads if you're a beginner. I think that's safe. Like you are Euro Euro um USD. Spread is like three, four, maybe six pips at a time. That's that's a good that's a good one to, to start off with. Yes, guys, kid. GBP, JPY is good, you know. And I and I have and I talk to a lot of people, a lot of you guys who love them GBP pairs. Y'all love them. <laughs> oh, Mario Mixologist, you're back. Hey. So yeah, you know, you just you just have to find what works for you. And as far as what I what I was saying about um, when you should look at your charts, I do after five. I do early in the morning, and I do um, on the weekends, of course, because they're still they're not moving at all. And I do the London London um, New York thing. Okay, so what time is it? Oh, got 20 minutes. So, um, another question I have is, um, hi, I have family and friends that don't, um, that thinks that Forex is a scam. What can I do to change their mind so they don't be so negative? Nothing. You can't do anything. Matter of fact, you should just steer clear of those people anyways. People... Who don't have dreams can't see yours. People who don't have goals can't see your goals. So you have to steer clear of those type of people who want to plant negative seeds into your in, in, into your mind and 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 create you know clouds of doubt. You know those are not the type of people that you want around you. Yeah, there is a lot of manipulation in Forex. I agree, Amid. I totally agree. So yeah, stay away from negative people. People, you're just, they're they're not they don't they don't see your vision. So why are they even worried about it? Just do what you have to do and let your money grow and speak for you. Exactly. That's exactly what I told them. You know, that's exactly what I told them, Superman. That's exactly what I told them. And they felt better. They they said that's what they would do. I said, just ignore them. You know, you're always going to have doubters, naysayers and stuff. Because they don't understand it, of course, they're going to say negative things. So, you know, that sounds about right. Okay. Everything about stocks or stock options. I have entertained the thought. I have. Um... I'm not against it. I think it's awesome to do. Uh, I probably will get into it eventually, you know, because you want to expand your horizon. So, but yeah, um, I'm not against it. I, I, I'm totally open to it. I'm totally open to it. And it's, it's a really good option to, to do. You know, you want extra things under your belt. So I'm totally for it. And let's see. 
I'm caught up on everything. And that is really all I have for tonight. Um, again, if you guys can, please. Um, I have my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some things on there as well. Outside of Instagram. If you can go there and um, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And I'm going to upload this video up there too and stuff for those that missed it and everything and don't catch the 24 hours that this that um instagram keeps the lives and stuff so yeah but um yeah guys um i hope you guys are having a really great trading week um you're making big profits and stuff is and it's working out for you and everything you know making money is is gravy you know because you do want to get out of the 9 to 5. You do want to get out of the rat race. You do want to, you know what I'm saying, you know, just get on the good foot and and do your own thing and take control of your life. You're welcome, Carmel Ketchup. I like that name. That's cute. <laughs> I like that. That has a, a nice little ring to it. I like that. Thank you for the heart. So, yeah, you want to get out of the 9 to 5 and being on someone else's time, making them rich. It's time for you to focus on you and your legacy now. You know, so learn to trade. Take your time. Be patient with yourself. And, you know what I'm saying, just, just keep plugging at it. Definitely keep plugging at it. And once again, I am doing my lives every Tuesday at... Um, Every Tuesday at 8. Yeah, patience is key. Absolutely. You got to have patience. I know we all want to see the blue in our profits and seeing that number go up and everything. But you have to learn the, the basics first. You got to learn the basics. I hate counting pips. I made a post about that the other day. I cannot stand counting pips. <laughs> I can't stand it. But, you know, I be like, all I'm trying to do is get the coins. I don't want to count the pips and all of that stuff. So, I'll count them later if I want to. But, I, I hate doing it. Um, So, yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Mariah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for jumping on. Thank you for jumping on. And don't get emotional, too. That's another thing. What is revenge trading i had this question what is exactly is revenge trading revenge trading is like let's say you're in a trade right you're in profit you're in profit it's going up you're in profit then oh my gosh the market pulls back now you're not in profit you've lost 50 60 70 100 couple hundred dollars and so forth okay now you upset. You want your money back. Okay? So then you go back and you chase the market in the opposite direction. So let's say you were in a buy. Okay? And the market went retraced and now you're, um, you're losing money. So now you're like, oh shoot, let me close out all my trades or whatever. And then um, I'm going to go into a sale and try to get your money back. No. That's revenge trading. That is revenge trading. When you, you get out of the market and, and then you try to chase the market back the opposite direction. No. That, that's what revenge trading is. You know, if you lose money today and then you tomorrow you get back in and you profit all your money back, that's not revenge trading. That means you just got your money back. You know, maybe you had a bad day yesterday. Your setup wasn't that clean. You know, you, you, um, <laughs> yeah, um, your setup wasn't that clean. Or things just happen. You know, you just, when, you just never know what's going to happen in the market. You just, you just don't know. The same way that we're sitting on this end, putting in our buy and sales, someone else is on the other end doing the same thing. Doing the same thing, you know, so. You just have to be mindful of that. What are two great strategies? I don't... I don't cheerlead any strategy. There's 
lots of strategies out there that people swear by, but it may work for them and it may not work for me. There's no one set strategy at all. There's Fibonacci, there's the sheriff's um, strategy. There's all kinds of strategies and people create their own strategy. I, I just, I don't have a strategy to, I don't know of any two at all. I don't, I don't, I don't know of any two and there's not any two or one that I would say, Oh, that's a great one. And this is, it's whatever works for you. The, the, the market is Forex is not set up to where it's cookie cutter and it's just one way. Exactly. You don't make money from the market. You make money from you. You don't. You make money from the market, right? You take money from the market. Exactly. You just have a can Yeah. Just yeah. It's it's all about your eye, and it's an art. I said this last week. Forex is an art, and the way I see something, you may see something completely different, but you still make it results. Either way, you know, it's just so much opportunity there. You know, you just, it, it's its just not no one way of like, oh, well, that's wrong. And But you making a profit, though. There's no one way to do it. It's, it's just not. You know, it's wise ways. That you may get in at a good, a good entry. Somebody you know may get in at a great entry, you know. It just depends. You may be getting in at a swing. They may be getting in at a, you know, at a at a day trade entry or something. It just depends. You know, when you go into, um, when you enter into a trade, you sometimes you really don't know. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing this. Sometimes you don't know. It may end up as a scout or a day trade, and then it, it's it's it flows into a swing. You just don't know. Exactly, God's kid. Exactly. And I tell people that all the time. What you may see, I may not see it. I may not agree. I may not agree with it. I may be like, mm, I don't know. That that don't look convincing to me. I just may not see it. It doesn't mean that you're wrong. I just don't see it. That is absolutely correct. I'm so glad somebody else said it. <laughs> you know? I'm not crazy. It's, you just don't. You just don't see it. It's a. It's you're gonna see it two totally different ways. You could put five traders in one room, and I can guarantee you, each one does their thing different. Everyone does their thing different. Now, the beautiful thing to that is, is that you can take and give to each other. You can trade fruit. Something that I may not have noticed or even thought about or even paid attention to. You may have and I'll be like, oh man, dang, I ain't really looked at it like that. Wow, that's a really good observation. And then I can show you something that you really didn't even think about. And then you be like, oh, that's true. I, I, I didn't even, I never noticed it like that. That's the beautiful art about it. If it was like that, everybody would trade who actually teach, who are legit educators, would teach Forex the same way across the board. But no two educators teach it the same. You're not even going to learn it the same as the next person, you know, the, the person next to you. You're not going to ingest the information the same. Is Trader's Way the best broker you know of? Traders Way works for me. I like Traders Way. I'm used to Traders Way. I know what they I know how they operate. So I like Traders Way, you know. You ro you roll with the broker that works best for you, you know. But I like Traders Way. I don't endorse them or anything. They don't endorse me or anything. I don't get anything from them, but I, they just work for me. I've tried others, but I just I just like them. Yeah, but yeah, like support. Some people don't even. Some people may not even pay attention to support and resistance. You know, if you if even if you do, even if everybody does use support and re resistance, I can guarantee every person who marks their support and resistance on their chart, they all look different. There, none of them are at the same level. 
And that's what I, I was telling someone else today. They're not all at the same level. You may, they may be small frame of support and resistance. The next person may be wide frame support and resistance. Yes, you never stop learning. That is the absolute truth. You never stop learning. Can you see, can you see me? Hey, how you doing? Hi, just joined. I don't know if you answered this, but do you have any advice on improving mindset and confidence? Um, yes. Your mindset has to be strong. You have to know exactly what it is that you want to do and you have to go for it and it doesn't matter what anybody says. All the naysayers, all the oh, that's a scam. Block them out. Matter of fact, don't even don't even conversate with them. If you don't have to, don't even bring up the subject, the forex around them, because they're already not on your level. They're not they're not trying to get to a better place or an, our next place. Just do, don't deal with them. You have to be emotionally strong, just like Superman said, because you're gonna lose money as well as you make money. So you have to be prepared for that. You know. No one's perfect in this forex thing. We all lose at some times. Some of us have blown our accounts more times than we would like to admit. But it's a part of the process. And you just have to be patient with yourself. Believe in yourself. You know, stay motivated. Surround yourself with people with like minds that are on the same journey you are to get to that point. You know, Hanging around people that don't know or, or talking to people that don't know what you're talking about or don't want to hear that. But, oh, man, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know. Those are not the people you want to talk to. You want to surround yourself with like-minded people. Whether you find a Facebook group, whether you find a Telegram group. If you could find a group in your area, like on Meetup of Forex traders and stuff, that would be great, too. But you definitely need to surround yourself with like-minded people. Okay, and as far as your confidence, the confidence will come. I promise you, the confidence will come. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. If you lose it, you just go back. If you lose out on a little money or something doesn't go how you had hoped it would go, you just go back and you just review what happened. Just look at what happened. That's all you can do. And then you brush yourself off and you start back the, the next day. Don't trade when you're upset. Don't trade when you're bored. Don't trade when you're distracted or you're, you have a very busy day unless you're swing trading. Because then you can go on about your day and, you know, and peek in on your charts or your profit every now and again, you know. Um, God kids, God's kids, yes, block out negative people. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, can you see, can you see me? Are you, is this something that you're experiencing right now? Is your mindset and your confidence, is your confidence not up there where you would like it to be? Um, God's kid says also trading and your personality go hand in hand. If you are lazy, you will trade, you will trade lazy. If you are impatient, you will do the same. Yeah, you're right. You are absolutely right. You definitely, if you're not a patient person, you will definitely need to trade to to train yourself to be patient with forex because it will test your patience. It will test your gangster. I I promise you, especially if you don't have your pay, your patience and your mindset and confidence on point, under control, and manage your money definitely. Don't get greedy. That, that that money in Forex will always be there for you to take. It will always be available for you to take. High life experiences. I lost today too, guys, kid. Don't don't feel bad. Matter of fact, I've been meaning to post my losses. And I've been so tied up today. You know, I didn't get a chance to. But I'm going to post it later. I'm going to post it later. Uh oh, guys. Well, it looks like the live is about to end. I got like 20 seconds left. I didn't know that they even um, shut it down after a while.
or I might just jump back on and you guys can um, jump in on the next one.